They said we are wise. They invented machines. And now they are reinventing the human being. They are now telling their people you have a choice to choose your gender. What nonsense. What hogwash. What ruse. How can a man choose the gender that he wants when he's already a, a, a man? What happens when you are on a, on, on, in a hotel and you want to choose food? It's a buffet. What happens? You get where there are barrels of different foods. But in your plate, it has to be empty first for you to be said to be exercising a choice. If you are already a man, you are now choosing to become a woman. You are not choosing. That's not how people choose. <laughs> Go to the ballot papers. You get a ballot paper with different faces. They don't even cross one face for you and then say you can decide to choose another, 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 another candidate. No. If God wanted us to choose gender, then everyone was going to be born genderless. <laughs> and then one was going to say, I decide to be a woman. Or I decide to be a man. Once you are born a woman, it's nonsense for you to believe that God gave you a choice to choose to be a man. Mm -hmm. How can such people be said to be civilized? Maraka kupa choice, yeku chooza. Kutuite murume kana mkazi. Okay. Saka wakasha wauri chi. Andangandiri murume zangu. Asindaida uta mkazi. Saka uchachu zari ni manji. 25 years later, topo wawo kutinda uta mkazi. And you to remain. Those are get a choice. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. They are sponsoring a lot of advocacy programs, billions of dollars. Right now, Uganda is being fought left, right, and center. They are sponsoring some shameless Ugandans to, 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 to win electoral votes into the parliament so that they can amend the Ugandan constitution to allow same-sex marriage. I pray to God that Africa remains resolute and defiant on the, on the, on the issue of uh, their uh, 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 disinterest over this nonsense of same-sex marriages. It's not wisdom. Lawyers are going to school and they are getting free scholarships so that they can learn how to defend gay rights in courts of law. What nonsense. You are going to school to learn stupidity in the name of knowledge, in the name of wisdom. <laughs> it's a human right. What, 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 who determines what is a human right? And human rights, God given rights. Was this one given this status by God? <laughs> or he got it from a surgeon in a hospital? In what way then is that a human right? God never gave you these sexual organs you now have. You bought them from a hospital. I know so what I'm saying. I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm going to go to the hospital. It's a human right. Verse number 23 and change the glory of the incorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible men yes. and to birds and to four-footed beasts yes. and creeping things. Yes. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness. It's uncleanness in the eyes of God. Through the lust of their own hearts. They have a lustful, lust-filled heart. To dishonor their own bodies between themselves. So Sodom and Gomorrah is a nation that dishonoreth its own bodies. They are dishonoring their own bodies among themselves. Even, even when we talk about this women's council and men's council, we are going to have to work very hard to make guidelines on how much our women and how far they can go in their quest to become more beautiful. <laughs> Tichato is some guidelines. You go, ah, you go to Muna. No ten days a meter paruri me. Ah, you ten days we Muno. I cannot beauty. I got that. Zogera kumba. 
Kana msikata kufisa metenyi, ito chakezo, nyingi mecheche kupinda. Ampinde muno, ne mete ya kada iso. Tichazo ita iso. And they are going to call us a discriminating church. The church has always been discriminating anyway. It's not a new thing. Ah, kuchechi kwa enzi muna nemte zaka kuri za apinde. You know, there is a discrimination here. I could have to tell you. 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 You are dishonoring your own body. Yes. yes. We have to put such guidelines. Yes. You can't dishonor your body in the name of beauty. We have to find a way to moderate, to regulate how far our women can go towards beautifying themselves. <laughs> because in most cases, they don't have limits. They don't have limits. And if we train our men very well, it won't be the duty of the church. The men will say, you will not be a wife to me if you were like this. So, we say, we are not going to be a wife to me. We are not going to be a wife to me. We are not going to be a wife to me. We will not be able to deal with it at the church level. We will not be able to deal with it at the church level. No tahu ada muka tu semua nukut macam fikir ni, amur gitu. Ia mungkin rumah ajar pasai dah. Untuk senjata gitu, ah dah ni itu semua non dah itu saya gitu. Uka gubuda na yang saya mumba kadai. Verse twenty five. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? They have changed the truth of God into a lie. And worshipped and served the creature more than the Creator. They are lying to themselves that.